Hello, my old school soul food family. Chef Jeffrey back with another video. Hey, the dog, day y'all are doing something you've never, ne probably never seen before. You see by the preview uh, dame there? Today I'm making some, I'm gonna make some smothered chicken gizzards, y'all. So what I have in here, I already got the video started. I got some gizzards here. I want these things very, very, very tender. I like my fried uh, chicken gizzards. These are going to be extra, extra tender. So what I did, I've simmered these. I already got them simmering for two hours. It's some nice stock they done made. And see how tender these are? Look at that. Very, very tender. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these out of here. And I'm going to uh, drain them here. And I'm going to keep this stock here. Put them in here and I'm going to drain them out of here. I'm also going to drain this pot because I want this liquid here to make the gravy. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to drain these and I'm going to season these gizzards really good with salt and pepper. And I'm going to break, I'm going to dust them in flour and I'm going to put them back in here and I'm going to sear them off, get a nice golden brown color on them. Then I'm going to make a gravy. Then we're going to put them in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour and really, really get them good and smothered. So right now I'm going to go off here. I'm going to drain this liquid. Hold on just a second here. Because I want this liquid. Cut this off. I want this nice liquid here. Because it's very important. Okay. Now I'm going to wash my pot out right quick. See this nice liquid? That's going to be the key to my gravy. Nice seasoning. And this is seasoned too. So let me re reiterate. Hold on, y'all. Let me put my pot over here. I'm going to wash this out. I'm going to wash my pot out here. But what I've done, remember here, I got my gizzards here. And I cooked. It, I simmered them for two hours. So they're nice and tender. I seasoned with all I put in here with salt and pepper. They're really seasoned. I got a nice stock here. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drain these, let this drain a little, then I'm gonna come back on camera here and I'm gonna season them with nice seasoning. I'm gonna season them really, really good, dust them in flour, I'm gonna put some oil in the pot here, I'm gonna sear them off, get a nice golden brown color, take them out, make a gravy in the pot, and I'm gonna place the gizzards back in here, cover them with the uh, gravy, put in the oven another 45 minutes to an hour, let them really, really, really Simmer really low in the oven. So this whole process takes about three hours, but they are so so awesome And I'm gonna put it over a bed of white rice Smother gives and white rice y'all doesn't get any better. So I'll be right back. Okay, y'all I'm back here Okay, while my oil is heating up, I'm gonna season my uh, Gizzards here. Just put some shake in here Some cabinets I mean and a little shake you can use whatever seasoning you want to use, y'all. Not really no big deal. Mix this up in here. One second here. Mix that up in there. Now, I got my flour over here, y'all. Going right into my flour mixture. And I'm going to just break these up, y'all. That's all it is to it. Three years I'm putting in flour. I want to get some uh, color on them. And this flour also going to be my kind of thickening for my gravy. Remember these are almost three quarters of the way done. So I'm going to put them in there and make them more tender when I smother them in the oven. Ain't nothing like smothered uh, Chicken gizzards, y'all, and uh, white rice, y'all. Don't get no better than this. Mother chicken and white rice, y'all. Don't get no better than this. Okay. Now I'm going to get these browned off, y'all, and I'm going to be back after they brown. All I'm doing is browning them off on each side. And, uh... When I get them all browned off, I'll come back and 
show you the re in the next step of the video. We'll be right back. Okay, we back, y'all. Okay, see how thin, see how uh, brown these are. I'm gonna take these other ones out. And y'all, you can actually can eat these things just like this right now. But I'm gonna make them extra tender, y'all. Extra tenderness on it. Extra tenderness. You see how all that SS flour in there? That's what I wanted. That's what I want. I'm going to add a little bit more flour to this. Then we're going to make our gravy. A little bit more flour to this. Gravy right in the pot, y'all. Gravy right in the pot. Bit more flour right off the came off the giblets. This in here. Really scrape it up good, y'all. Let me show y'all. See? These things are real tender. See how tender they are? See that? You can actually eat them right now, but I'm going to give them extra tender, y'all. Well, you don't even need a fork to cut them. I want to get a little color on this roof. Then we're going to add our, remember that uh, stock that we cooked them in, we saved? We're going to add that to that. And then we're going to have a nice looking gravy here, homemade gravy. A little bit more color. Okay, be careful when you do this, y'all. I have to reminisce. Okay. Look at that. See that gravy? Gravy right in the pot, y'all. Turn this down. Turn this down here a little. I'm going to add a little water to this, y'all. I don't want it too thick. I don't want it too thick. I'm gonna thin it down just a little. Just a little. See how nice and smooth that gravy is? That's gonna be perfect over the rice. The reason I'm thinning this down, y'all, because remember I have flour still on the giblets. Or gizzards, I keep saying giblets. Gizzards, and that's gonna thicken this gravy even more as it's, in the, as it's smothered in the oven for an hour. I'm gonna put a little black pepper in here, y'all. We're gonna taste this. And we're gonna see. I know this stock is flavorful because I flavored it. I just want a little black pepper in here, a bit more. Let me taste it here for seasoning. Make sure it's good. Oh yeah, definitely good, y'all. Okay, now all I'm gonna do, add my giblets back to this. See that? Stir them around in there a little. Now, we're gonna put it back in the oven, 350 degrees. For 45 minutes to an hour, it ain't gonna take no longer than that. Remember, they already almost tender to the pound. I just want them more, I just want them falling apart tender. So we'll be back when they're ready. I'm going to put on the pot of raw egg rice. We're going to have us some giblets, smothered giblets. Gizzards. I keep saying giblets. Giblets, gizzards, whatever. Same thing. Smothered gizzards, chicken gizzards, and white rice. We'll be right back. All right, y'all. We back here. Okay, look at this, y'all. Look at that. Look at those smothered gizzards, y'all. Giblets, y'all. Look at that. Well, I didn't put too much gravy. Look at that. What I'm gonna do now, I'm gonna move it over here and I'm gonna plate up me a plate of these. Let me show you how good they are, y'all. Move my, move my, uh, so y'all can see what I'm doing here. All right. I got my rice here. 
And then the rice stand. It's no better than this, y'all. No better than this. Okay. All right. Get me a get my, get my spoon here. Okay. Get this right there. Look at that. Look at that. Clean this off right here. Okay. I'm gonna taste these and see how they is. I know they good, y'all. Know they tender here. You don't need a knife or nothing. I'm just gonna kind of break with the fork here. I'm gonna show you here. Look, look at this. How fork tender they are. See that? Cut them right in half. See that? Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that. Let me show you again. See that? Right in here. Another one. Mmm. 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 Nice and tender, y'all. Nice and tender. Let me go back to the pot here and show y'all again. Nice gravy. There's that fly I've been looking for. It's a fly I've been in my kitchen for two days, y'all, and I can't catch him. But anyway, nice and tender, smothered chicken gizzards, y'all. Can't go wrong. Can't go wrong with that. So if you like this video, y'all, please give it a thumbs up. Please share. Please comment. Please subscribe. Please follow my other social media accounts: Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, Twitch TV, and OldSchoolSoulFood.com. Uh, remember the hashtag 2021. Help somebody old school soul food. So until next time, have a blessed old school soul food day. I'll see y'all in the next video. Love y'all. Bye.